Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to another video in this series and hopefully you guys already know that we are building a fully functional to the list application and in this particular video we're going to go ahead and set up our Django project. So we already have almost um, everything related to the authentication system built out in the previous series where we worked with building a fully functional authentication system using Django and I'd highly 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 recommend that you guys take that tutorial before taking this one because it's a continuation of that one and if for any reason you already have an idea of how authentication work and all that you're just looking to pick up um to know or to know how to work with crude system in Django and React then you can go ahead and continue with the course so in this one, what we're going to be doing is pretty much set up our project. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and open up my comment prompt. I'm going to open up my comment prompt and hopefully you guys can see this. I'm also going to zoom in so it's visible to everyone. All right, there you go. So right now I'm on this directory called Destiny Franks. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to CD into my desktop. So I, I want to change directory to desktop. And if I list out all the DIR, as you can see, we've got a lot of um, folders over here. As you can see, this is the Facebook PRJ where we, that's the Facebook clone that we are building. This is another e-commerce. This is another e-commerce. This is um other. This is a, a project folder where all my projects are. There's templates for some other application. So this pretty much gives you the idea that this is our desktop, right? This over here now is our desktop. That means if we create a folder here now, it should appear in our desktop, right? So what we can just do now is go ahead and hit say mkdir, which is make directory, and let's just call it to do underscore project. All right, I think that's that's a good name for it. Or you can use uppercase to do um, dash project. All right, I think that's okay. Hit enter, and as you can see, that's create created it over here. So that's pretty much what we want to do. Let's just go ahead and cd into that um, to do dash project. And as you can see, we are in there now. And if we DIR, we should not see anything in here because it's empty. There you go. We don't have anything in here. So I'm going to clear off my terminal again so that we have a new fresh space to work with. All right. So um, the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and create a new Django project in that to-do application. How about I just open this up side by side so you guys can see everything that's going on. So I'm going to put that one over there. And I'm also going to put this one over here. I think that should be okay, right? Let me just minimize this one a little bit so you guys can see. There you go. Now, if I say something like Python hyphen M Django starts project, and I call it something like back end and hit enter on my keyboard. All right, it says there is nothing like start. Okay, there was, there was a typo in the start project command. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type it out again, all right? So I'm gonna say start project and hit enter. Now, in your case, there might be a lot of ways that you could use to create a Django project. You could do something like Django-admin starts project, then you name it whatever you want. In my case, back end. This might work for you, but this doesn't work for me. And the reason why it doesn't work for me is because I downloaded my Python from Microsoft App Store, not from their official website. But in your case, you might also still have downloaded it from Microsoft App Store and it still works perfectly well for you. So just um, try between those two commands, whichever one works for you is fine. But this one works on the system and my on my other system, this other one works over here. This Django admin works on the other on the other system. All right. So right now we have this in the back end. So I'm just going to go ahead and CD into the back end, which means I want to come into the back end folder, right? Now, if we hit DIR, we should see Manage PY, and we should also see Backend Folder. That's great. I'm going to clear out my terminal again. Hopefully, you guys can see everything that I've done so far, and I'm going to go ahead and, and clear this out. All right, so I'm in here now. What I can do is simply go ahead and create. Um, you could either create a new app, or you could go ahead and copy the other app that we've got before, all right? So I'm going to close this off now. I'm going to close this off. And I'm gonna open up my open up my projects folder, this one over here. And I'm simply simply gonna open up JWT authentication. This is the one we worked on the last time, right? Hopefully, you guys can still remember. I'm gonna open up the back end. And if you follow it along with the last tutorial, then I'm pretty much confident that you should be able to breeze through this section of setting up the project, all right? Because we are not gonna be creating a new project from scratch. We're gonna be um, pretty much attaching the to-do list to the authentication project that we've built before, all right? I want you guys to understand. I don't want you to get confused. Everything is still the same thing. There is no difference. We've created a new project, created back end. We are in the back end now. So what I want you to do is this, 
copy the API, copy the back end, copy the, you can leave out the user images, I don't need that. Copy the git ignore, you can also leave it out, I don't need that. Then copy the requirements txt. So just copy those three things and I want you to paste it over here and it, it will ask and say something like, do you want to replace the files that are already in the destination? Of course I want to do, so I'm going to hit replace the files. And as you can see, it replaced the files, as simple as that. Now close this up, close this up. This is the to-do application that we're working on right now. So I'm just going to put it somewhere there so you guys can see. Hopefully that's not too tiny for you. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and open this up with my code editor now. That's Visual Studio Code. Hopefully you guys already know how to do this. You could just open up your Visual Studio Code, drag this code and drop it in here like that. And that should open up perfectly well. All right. So one of the things that I'm going to do now, we just go ahead and expand this. So everything is big and you guys can see clearly well. Now I'm going to go ahead and run Python. Firstly, before doing that, let's see the into the back end and let's run Python manage.py run server as simple as that and right now our server should go ahead and spin up on port 8000 okay that's taken all right there you go our server is up so right now if we come over here and visit port 8000 we should see welcome all right there you go we're not going to send it like welcome because we've set it up in the last video but instead we should see our api and everything should be working perfectly well from here as you can see so if you followed along with the last tutorial, I'm still emphasizing on that, then you're going to understand what all this means over here because we worked on this in the last tutorial. So let's go ahead and continue. Right now, everything is not still going to be working as expected. That's because we need to make migration and migrate. Rather, it's just migrate because we haven't created any database or anything else. So just hit python manage.py migrate on your terminal and this error should be gone, right? It should go ahead and create all the tables that we're going to be needing. And after it's done, we also need to create super user. So we're going to be able to log into the admin backend. So let's say python manage.py create super user and um, he's going to take in four, four arguments. The first one is my email, dex.gmail.com. He's going to take in my, my username, that's destiny. It's going to take in my password. I usually use testing three to one. And I also use testing three to one. That's a really strong password. All right, I'm gonna put that in again and I'm gonna put that in again. All right, there you go. So let's go ahead and run server one more time. And um, okay, let's so just give this a sec. And as you can see, our server is up and running. Now, if we come over to the admin section, there you go. We are logged into the admin section. But I think we we have an issue here. Okay, yeah, we already have, we have this other instance running. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close that off. So uh, right now, if we refresh, we should see this. There you go, perfect. So now we need to log in using our email and our password. I'm just gonna go ahead and log in the email and the password that we created when signing up a new user in the terminal. And there you go, this is what we have now. So we have the user model, we have the profile model, we have the outstanding token, the blacklisted token and, and all that. So if you have worked with me up to this extent, then congratulations because we have successfully set up your application to follow the Django React to-do list application tutorial. So I think that's gonna be it for, for this video. In the next one, we should go ahead and start working with creating model, but let's just go ahead and see what we have in our list. All right, there you go. So this is the first one over here. We do all the migrating thing that we just did now, copy all the backend files. And in the next one, we should go ahead and start creating model and serializers to start the to-do list. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. And in the next one, we're gonna go ahead and start working with models and serializers. So to make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really means the world to me. And until the next video, my love, peace out.